Hello everyone and welcome once again back to a discussion about the summer 2021 anime season. This time around we are going to be discussing da -da -da -da, Suki Michi Moonlit Fantasy. It's an isekai, some of my favorite genre. And this one was actually really good. Definitely one of the better shows coming out this season. It's got an interesting plot, interesting characters, and well, I like the main character. Ah, oh, man, it's pretty great so far. Uh, anyway, to kind of catch you up, it's about the main character, kind of just like a plain guy who randomly gets summoned to another world and meets a goddess. Um, and he finds out that apparently his parents were from this world originally, and they made an agreement with the goddess in exchange for going to Earth that they would eventually send back one of their kids. Um, and so he is the kid who's got sent back. However, the goddess is kind of a bitch. And upon seeing the main character, Makoto, uh, she says that he's hideous, refuses to look at him, and takes away his hero title. She gives him the ability to speak every language except for human because she does not want him to uh, mingle with her uh, favorite humans and sends him into like the middle of like a wasteland, far, far from human civilization, essentially. So she basically just like banishes and outcasts this motherfucker, right? She's like, ah, oh, gross, you're ugly. But he's like completely normal by like Earth standards. It's just everyone in this world, every human in this world is like unbelievably beautiful. It's messed up. So anyway, he starts his journey roaming around and eventually meets monsters. And since he can talk to them, uh, ends up forming relationships with these monsters and, you know, having uh, the typical isekai experience you would normally have in human civilization, but with monsters, essentially. Uh, as he goes through stuff, he decides that he's not going to, like, go around and, you know, kill monsters because since he can talk to them, it's a little awkward, right? So he begins by creating sort of like a company kind of thing and learning about the human language and because he wants to get in touch with humans because you know he's a human himself um so he eventually like wears a mask to hide his face and goes into town and uh you know meets humans and stuff like that and there's a bunch of stuff that occurs before that fact um anyway he gets really strong allies and essentially what he does is he creates like a safe haven for monsters and also becomes like a merchant essentially but he's also really really op and oh boy it's great it is so great uh, because the goddess didn't give any powers however a god from his world used the remaining power he had to give Makotoko um power uh because he felt bad about the goddess just taking him from you know their world unfortunately and so he was granted power by this other god from earth and this is essentially where he got his powers from and that's why he's op as fuck also because earth is like more uh, I, I think it was earth is like the gravity's worse on it or something or whatever he's really strong anyway so he survives a fall from like a huge height and he's perfectly fine uh because earth is like more like rough than this world is so everyone here on this world is like a lot weaker than him to begin with. It's great. Uh, anyway, so basically the story is about him trying to, you know, interact with humans and live his life and help the monsters and create a town and everything. It's fucking great. It's exactly what I want from Isekai. It's not the boohoo, I want to go home and like kill a demon lord kind of shit. It's like the, okay, well, I'm here, so I'm going to start improving the lives of people, right? It's the favorite, like, thing that I like to see in Isekai, where it's not just the character going like, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go kill the demon lord and go home. That's what I want to do. That's all I want to do. Uh, no, it's like, well, he's gonna resign himself to not being able to go back home because the goddess is a bitch, and so he's going to help out the people around him, namely the monsters, um, and basically live his life and kind of see the world that his parents are from. And that's naturally his plan. Uh, there's a lot of action, a lot of great stuff. The animation is nice and clean. Uh, it's got some interesting concepts in it, and I highly recommend it. And 
So help me God, if there's not a second season, I will riot to the ends of the earth. <laughs> because it, it sets up perfectly for a second season. At the end of it, they show like two characters that they did not need to show that are like definitely going to come into play later on in the story. So if there's not a second season, they did that for nothing. And it really rustles my jimmies. Also, I need to see this goddess get punched in the face. I need it. Like, I need it. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I really want her to just get put in her place by the main character somehow. I don't know how he's going to do it, but goddamn, I want to see him do it. Uh, but yeah, I quite thoroughly enjoyed this show. Um, if you like Isekai, you'll definitely like this one. Like, no, no, like, question about that. It's definitely going to be great. Definitely one of the better shows this season. Um, all in all, this might be my... Second or third favorite this season, to be honest. Um, Higurashi's definitely number one, because Higurashi's just great regardless. Um, but uh, after that, everything kind of... There's, there's a number of them that like blend together at the top that I really enjoyed. Uh, namely, this show, uh, The Realist Hero, uh, Black Company. Those are all like really good ones. And like I'm Standing on a Million Lives, of course, is also great. But... Those are the ones that really, like, stand out and, like, I can't really place them because they're all so good, you know? Uh, anyway, we'll be talking about some of those other ones later uh, as they continue to come out here. But today, this is the one that finished, so that's what we're talking about. Well, I guess it would be yesterday, technically, for y'all. Because they're finished on Wednesday. So, I'm going to wrap things up anyway. We have a few more shows to talk about. Namely, we have... Da -da -da -da, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. We have eight more to talk about. Yeah. For the most part, they should be ending here real quick. Um, one of them is going to go for a couple more weeks, uh, along with Higurashi, which Higurashi has like 26 episodes total. And we're currently on like a different one, so it's, it's going to take a little longer to get that one going. But, oh boy. I cannot wait for these to wrap up and for the new shows to start because there's some that I'm really looking forward to this next season. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble on about stuff that's not related to this video. So check this one out definitely um, and enjoy it. So until next time, everyone, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.